how do you expect this reference architecture to evolve perhaps around you know agentic ai or even uh, configuration computing consortium is also there so just talk about how do you see uh, it evolve over time it is going to evolve and, and i'll leave Randy to answer the second part of that but it's going to evolve from a technology point of view as we learn more um, as we implement more of these um, and as new technologies get released that that's at the very base but if we really want to think about how agentic works agentic workloads are going to need to create a contract with infrastructure to deliver on the quality of service that's required. We're also going to be looking at how do we create a, a very clear way to protect those workloads from each other um, and ensure performance, but also be able to accelerate the usage of those workloads. Um, and I'll let Randy continue that because you know, he, he's doing some deep, deep work in that space at the moment and it'd be good to hear at a high level, what, what's going on there? You know, this calls really about kind of our AI factory reference architecture. Um, as we expand that, we'll go deeper on the infrastructure side, but we're starting to look past that. We're starting to look at, you know, what does it mean for an enterprise to adopt, you know, agentic systems, agentic workflows? And what we see right now is that there's, it's moving so fast that it's like a lot of the other technology um, revolutions that happened in the past and, and a lot of things around security and compliance governance are kind of being left behind while we are trying to implement, you know, these, these tools and get business value out of them. So we think it's really important because there's more danger of data leakage of, of improper use of these systems than, than ever before. We think it's really important to get out in front of that. So we have some plans there to basically build some uh, open source capabilities up the stack where we can do things like policy enforcement, make sure that agents are only allowed to talk to what they're allowed to talk to, make sure that they're clearly authenticated, make sure that data is encrypted in transit and at rest to basically provide all those guarantees that a typical enterprise would want to if they're going to deploy agents in a secure way. And uh, that's something we're working on now. I don't want to go too deep on it, um, but uh, it really complements everything else we've been doing. It just adds on top of it. So we've got the baseline AI factory, which includes the core infrastructure and then kind of a GPU platform for inference and, and training or fine tuning. And then on top of that, kind of an agentic management system will be something that we're coming out with in the near future. And and uh, we're going to bring all that expertise that we've got from, you know, running some of the world's largest financial systems and, and uh, make sure that uh, enterprises can adopt this stuff in a way that makes sense. Watch the space. Cool stuff coming. 